So after duplicating your layer by pressing on Ctrl J, you can use any focus separation action that works for you or anyone that you have. And by the way, if you want this my focus separation action, I'll be leaving the link where you can download it for free in the description below. And also, you can also use the Touching Academy focus separation. Like I said earlier, you can use any focus separation you have. So I just go to my action and just click on focus separation 8 bit because this image is 8 bit. And I'm going to be using blur radius of about 9 for this image and just click on OK. So this is an in depth focus separation tutorial. You are going to learn how you can actually use focus separation to smoothen out your skin in this video. Alright, now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the blemishes from this image. So after you run that focus separation, just make sure your high test chalk up layer is selected, which is this first one right here. Just pick your close thumb tool and just remove the blemishes. So to move your blemishes, just press alternate and sample from a close by area and just paint over the blemishes you want to remove. Just like that. So I'm not going to be removing all this one right here because I feel it makes the image look more natural. So just press alternate and just remove the blemishes. So for you to get a smooth image, you have to make sure you remove the blemishes. Okay. Okay. So we've successfully removed the blemishes from this image. So this is the before and the after. Now I'm just going to smooth out the skin using my mixer brush tool right now. So just pick your mixer brush tool. Make sure this clean brush after each stroke is selected. Make sure your weight is on 30. Your load is on 20, your mix is on 90, mix doesn't really matter, your full is on 30, and sample all layer is selected because we are going to be brushing on this brush here layer, which is an empty layer. So make sure sample all layer is selected. And I'm just going to turn off this my high frequency texture right here. So I'm just going to turn it off. Once I turn this my high frequency layer off and my mixer brush is selected, if you want to brush with this mixer brush, make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size according to the place you are actually working on so if i was to work on this highlight right here i'm just going to decrease my brush size to fit that particular highlight right there it's very important just pay close attention and also if i want to brush on a bigger portion of the image i'm going to increase my brush size to work on a bigger portion of the image and this is also important Make sure you are brushing your shadows separately and your highlights separately. Let me just quickly explain that. If I just brush my highlights and my shadow together like this, you are going to see the image is just going to look bad. So let me just show you that. So if I just brush my shadow into my highlights right now, the image is going to look flat and it's going to look bad. That's why I keep telling you not to brush your highlights into your shadow. So let me just show you what I just did. So you can see how flat this image is looking. This is the before and this is the after. It's not looking good at all. So if you are brushing, make sure you are brushing your shadow separately and also make sure you are brushing your highlights separately. So if I was to brush on this image, just take a look at this highlight right here. I'm going to be brushing this place highlight separately like this. And I'm going to be brushing the cheek right here, this highlight on the cheek separately as well. Sorry, I'm going to be brushing the highlights separately as well. And this shadow right here, I'm just going to be brushing this shadow right here separately as well and also i will be brushing this highlight on the nose separately as well i'll brush this highlight right here separately as well so i'm just going to be increasing and decreasing my brush size according to the portion of the image i'm going to be brushing on and also if i want to brush this shadow right here i'm going to be brushing this way like this let me just show you how i'm going to be brushing i'm going to be brushing this way like this and if i want to work on this highlight right here i'm going to be brushing this highlight this way like this and i'm going to be brushing this part as well this way like this so just brush according to the shape of the face you are actually working on so i'm just going to delete this layer and just brush right now so i'm going to hide this my high focus texture layer right here i'm just going to hide it with my brush layer selected pick my mixer brush tool Remember, make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size. And to increase and decrease your brush size, use the square brackets key on your keyboard. Okay? So I'm going to paint on this highlight right here separately. So I'm not going to be brushing on this highlight separately like this. Make sure to give you a like if you have learned anything from this video so far. So I'm going to brush this highlight separately. I'm going to brush the shadow separately. Remember, don't brush your shadow on your highlights and don't brush your highlights to your shadow like that. Just brush them separately. And make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size according to the parts of the image you are actually working on. Alright, now we are done. Now let's see the before and after. So, 
this is the before and this is the after the before and the after so the before and the after so if you feel it's not smooth enough you can actually run under frequency separation again and just smooth the skin according to the way you want it just make sure you want it the way it is click on this video right here to watch how you can use photoshop ai plugin to retouch your image in just one click i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative